Hello and welcome to another update video about BNB. We don't have much change from the previous video. We still have the situation that BNB is in a, well, actually quite a nice uptrend overall. Yeah. Um, nice uptrend here. We head off this 10th of March low, a wave one to the upside, a five wave move up, which is an impulse. And then I can only count the move here in a corrective way. Yeah, um, you know, from an uptrend point of view. I currently count it as a WXY structure. As long as we're holding the $283 level and we do not sustain below that level and break and sustain below it, I'm going to be focused here on the upside around BNB. Yeah. Um, the idea is that this is a, uh, an impulse to the upside. The move down is currently a pullback in a wave to a correction. And in this correction, we have an, a WXY structure. As I said, that's quite a complex way of, of correcting a, you know, a, an impulse. Um, happens quite frequently though in crypto. And within the Y wave, we have an ABC structure. So a Y wave is a corrective wave, a three wave move. And typically it would consist of an ABC. The A wave is a five wave move. The B wave here, a nice three wave move. It reacted to our resistance area and then came down again in a three wave move. I'm counting it therefore as the wave one of a leading uh, an ending diagonal. So just an explanation, it would be the C wave here. Again, the Y wave that we already discussed consists of ABC. We already covered the A wave, we covered the B wave and the C wave down consists of five waves always. Um, and the five wave move because the wave one here was a three wave move the subwave structure of the C wave would unfold as an ending diagonal, which indicates typically that um, it's going to be a bit slow, you know, it's a bit, you know, flat C wave basically, yeah, very slow. So we are going, currently watching that. At the moment, what I'm observing here is that, again, the wave one possibly done, the wave two done. This could be the, th the wave three. And in the third wave, we have here an A, B, C. So again, this could be the B wave and we're coming down in the C wave next of the third wave. I currently view it in a way that this C wave could stop somewhere around $290, 295 maybe. Now maybe around the golden ratio, 297. Um, but certainly that there is more way to go to the downside. Um, and this view is valid as long as we are holding below the wave too low, so below $340. Break above 340 could indicate a breakout. Until then, I'm going to be focused here on the downside in the short term. And the idea would be that ideally, it's holding the yellow box, which is support, bullish support. And again, I said sort of 290, 295 would be ideal. Um, if it goes any lower then $283 is support. Below $283, I think a more bearish perspective needs to come into focus and would unlock prices all the way down to $140. But as long as we're holding that, the overall focus can be on higher in a third wave rally. Yeah. So at the moment, just sideways consolidation. This could also be a triangle. Um, it doesn't count that well as a triangle, but possibly it might be, um, but it counts better as an ABC structure here of a Y wave. So overall, in summary, further downside expected, targeting around about 295. But as long as we're holding 283, the overall upside structure um, with a third wave rally to come is valid and the overall preferred scenario. That's my update about BNB. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.